Got him! Man, I'm tired of these pumpkin heads. The Green Goblin makes a comeback. And with all the other bosses out of the picture, he's become the one and only Gobfather of crime. This is the fifth Gob Squad I fought this week. And still no sign of that boss. Which means Harry's still out there, taking Globular Green, blacking out, and using the downtime to goblin up and get me in his sights. I promised myself I'd bring Harry home safely. But no one's seen him since before the school play. No one but these creeps. Attention all squash brains. How about I swear not to take that nickname too literally in exchange for you spilling Gobby's current address? We don't know. He doesn't have a base. He contacts us. You swear. Ugh, same old same. Oh, come on, Harry. Where are you? your help. Hey, hey, Liz. It's it's Petey. Liz, I'm really sorry I didn't see the play, but I I, I had to take pictures for I the... know, Peter. The bugle comes first. But I can't help wondering if it had been Gwen in the play. But, uh, Liz, I promise it. If Aunt May had been the fairy queen, I'd still have missed the show. I, I was completely locked up. With work. <sighs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Great. Bye. A Aunt May! How long have you... Long enough to know you need to be honest with both these girls, Peter. Which means that first, you need to be honest with yourself. Gwen? Peter, I need your help. Gwen, are you all... Harry! Easy, Pete. Spidey knows Harry's the goblin, but Peter Parker doesn't. Even Harry may not know he's the goblin again, so play it cool. But be ready. Harry, tell Pete what you told me. I, I guess the whole school knows I choose to improve my game. What most don't know is that it was an experimental Oscorp performance enhancer called Globulin Green. Or that I started blacking out because of it. Or that during my blackouts, I became the Green Goblin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I mean, no way. Come on, you, the Green Goblin? He's not kidding, Peter. I don't remember any of it. But my dad and Spider-Man figured out my green-fueled subconscious was taking over, making me do things. At least, that's what we all thought was happening. Thought? Past tense? See, this is where it gets confusing. The reason I've been missing the last few days? The Goblin, or someone wearing a Goblin costume, kidnapped me. Ah! Wait, wait, there's a second Gobby? Uh, goblin? Are you sure this even happened? You didn't just black out and imagine it all? No, I'm off the juice. I swear. I've been tempted. But I destroyed my stash to make sure I wouldn't, I, I couldn't succumb. I believe you, but you need to tell all this to your parents. I don't know. Harry, your dad helped you when he thought you were the goblin. I mean, of course he'd help you now. Would he? If Harry's telling the truth, maybe my first instinct was right. Maybe Norman Osborn is the goblin. Okay. I'll talk to him. 
and with Spidey on the scene, just in case. Thanks, both of you. I couldn't ask for two better friends. I should go too. Yeah. <sighs> no. Honesty time. Look, I, I made a mess of things. Look, you you kissed me, and, and I, look, I... I'm not even sure how I wound up with Liz or, or how you wound up with Harry. And, and they're both great, but... Gwen, you're the one I want to be with. If, if you don't feel the same way... Peter, I've been in love with you since seventh grade. No. No, not behind Harry's back, or Liz's. Right, right. We we have to break it off with them first. It'll be hard, but... Then we can be together. And then I escaped. Please, Dad, you've got to believe me. I want to, son. But I'm just not sure we can trust you. And maybe it's Normie who can't be trusted. Last Halloween, I followed Goblin here. And I saw Osborne Sr. come out of the secret room behind that suit of armor. You mean the wine cellar? That's not exactly a secret. Mr. Osborne, Master Harry, Spider-Man. <sighs> okay, I give up. Which one of you is the goblin? I've got this handled, dear. Spider-Man, your suspicion is natural. But I was at Oscorp the night Green Goblin stole the inhibitor prototype. Witnesses saw us together. Harry, get that. <sighs> Fine. Here's the bottom line. I'm not sure if Harry's telling the truth, or if he even knows the truth. Dad, it's Donald Menken. He says it's urgent. I apologize, Spider-Man. One moment. Ugh, I'm so lost. I was sure Norman was the goblin. So I saw Harry wearing the mask, and now I don't know if either one is Gobby. Maybe both of them are. You have an annoying tendency to, well, survive. The Green Goblin has every contingency in place to test the outer limits of that talent. Until all that remains is a red and blue stain on the pavement. Hmm, where have I heard that one before? Oh yeah, from every supervillain I've ever come up against. Then perhaps it would be more original if I simply remain silent while watching you splat! Well, it certainly would qualify as refreshing. Whoa! Peekaboo! <laughs> Nicely played. But wheels within wheels are already in motion. And I'll be back to see you crushed beneath them. Ha! Not so fun when you're flying blind, huh, Gobby? Too true. More fun to fire blind! <laughs> Okay, that was the real deal. Which means neither of you was ever the goblin. A voice can be mimicked, technology copied. It's not the voice, it's the words. Not the tech, but the moves. I'm telling you, that was Gobby. The one and only. But how did I wind up in that goblin costume? Are you saying someone set me up? Uh, who? Why? Okay, one question at a time. Starting with, who else has access to Globulin Green? Security, this is Osborne. Grab Donald Menken. No, I mean grab him and don't let him go. But, sir, Menken left the premises an hour ago. Then get me his home address, now. Globulin Green was my own personal project. In hubris, I showed it to my family. And we know how that turned out. Yes, well, at Oscorp, only Donald Menken knew of its existence. Sir, Menken's address, his entire personnel file, it's been deleted. And the only people who have the clearance to do that are myself and Menken. He's gone to ground. 
but Menken nearly destroyed my son. Worse, he betrayed me. I promise you, Spider-Man, I will find him. Did you? Not yet. Did you? No, I'm meeting her for lunch. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, up? No, no, nothing. Oh, we, we were just talking. <laughs> No worries. I'm not the dating police. <laughs> dating police. Good one. Uh, I, I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Bye. Finally. Petey, <laughs> you're putting ketchup in your fruit cup. Is everything all right? Yeah. I, I mean, no. I mean, Liz, you and me, well, well mostly me, because you, you've been great. But I just don't think I've been much of a boyfriend. So maybe we'd be better off as just friends are, are you breaking up with me i'm sorry you dump me i don't think so that's it Petey. we're through finally <laughs> Liz? Yeah, not fun. Harry? I, I haven't even seen him. I hope it went all right with his parents. That timing does kind of suck. Dr. Connors, what's going on? Kurt and I are leaving ESU. In fact, we're leaving New York. I can't go into all the details. But we had to move on. But the lab, your work. Our work will continue in Florida. As for the lab, Dr. Warren is in charge. You and Pete can learn a lot from him. But, well, don't learn too much. Any news on Menken? 909 Barrow Street, top floor. Thanks, Gargan. Checks in the mail. Let's go. Who ordered the chopper? Oscorp kind of thinks you did. I figured after all he put us through, you and I would want some face time with Goblin Kama Menken. Oh, where's the pilot? You're the one who insisted I get my license. Oh. Moving out? Moving in. Nice decor. Very green. It came that way. Oscorp recently rented this apartment for me. I know you're the Green Goblin. I have no response to that. <laughs> Spray a little knockout gas and you fold like origami. I might just have to do my happy dance. Harry, what are you doing? Cowboying up. So Menken's not the goblin either? Menken? Seriously? <laughs> you bop And the Gob Squad's out in force, too. Perfect!
If it's not me, or you, or Mencken, then who's left that knew about the green? <gasps> you don't think the goblin could be... Mom? Spider-Man, off your game! Nah, game's good, guys. Just getting acquainted with the rules. Rule one, Spidey must splat! Rule two, ignore rule one. Rule three, make Gabi look goofy. Son, he's obviously an imposter. Right, right. Uh, except, I heard you apologize to Spider-Man last night. Norman Osborn never apologizes! I did not sign on for this. Chameleon. And you! You were the goblin all along! Do I invent the green? Of course I wasn't fool enough to drink it. Small doses in gaseous form increase my strength, agility, intelligence. With no blackouts, no loss of control. And you've been working with Chameleon the whole time? Not at first. As Goblin, I appeared at Oscorp to steal my gobweb inhibitor. Imagine my pleasure at finding Norman Osborn a witness to my crime. It was Chameleon, of course, stealing Oscorp's secrets for a competitor. So this week, I hired him to keep you guessing and set you up for a fall. But last Halloween... You crashed. The goblin crashed. And you saw me limp away. Do you know how easy it is to fake a limp? But Harry wasn't faking. When I found him that night, he was wearing goblin's costume, and his leg was really hurt. More serendipity. You had guessed my identity. I knew I had to redirect your suspicion. And when I returned home, I found Harry passed out from an overdose of green. It didn't take long to deduce the cause of Harry's sudden success at football and in school... It took only slightly longer to dress him as the goblin. The limp completed the illusion. Uh, you framed your own son? I protected Harry. If I'd been sent to prison, who'd have made a man out of him? Just look at what he's done today. I've never been prouder of the boy. Oh, who are you kidding? You were saving your own sorry butt, not Harry's. Potato, potato. Once you're out of the picture... I'll make everything right. You had no right to clue up your life! Dad! Dad was sick. A victim of the green. No one knows how that stuff changes you better than I do. Spider-Man should have helped him. Not... Oh. I don't know what I'd do without you, Gwen. You're all that's keeping me from going back on the green myself. Oh, I got your messages. Was there something you wanted to tell me? It was nothing. Another banner episode in the life of Peter Parker. Terry's left with no father. I'm left with no Gwen. At least the city's safe. The Green Goblin's gone forever. Now boarding flight 1057 to Miami. Time to start a brand new adventure. A brand new life. Flight 994 to Grand Cayman Island is now boarding all first-class rows. Sorry for the delay, Mr. Roman. Don't apologize. I 
never do. 